Here is a test problem to find asymptotes of the transformed function. So the question is, write equation of asymptotes for y equals to 1 over x square minus 4x plus 3. Now a rational function like this has two kinds of asymptotes. One is horizontal asymptote. And the other one is the vertical asymptote. Now, horizontal asymptote is, is a line which a function is trying to approach, is a value which a function is trying to approach, but it can't. It's very, very close to that value, but it is not really at that point. So that is horizontal asymptote. Now, it's a horizontal line on a graph and therefore it gets its name. Now, in this case, if I write x as very large number, so normally to find horizontal asymptote, what we do? We write x as a very large number. We say when x is approaching a large number, we call it infinity. And to calculate, we can plug in a value like 1000 or 10,000 depending on the question. So if I write a very large number for x, what will happen? It will be 1 over a large, large number. That means it will approach 0. 1 over a large number will be 0. So we say the value of function y approaches 0. So the horizontal asymptote is, is therefore y equals to 0. So that is in nutshell horizontal asymptote. The function is trying to approach that particular value, but it is never there. This is what it is. So, as I can show you on the graph, here, if I put a large positive value, then this everything will be positive, right? Everything is going to be positive and close to zero. So, everything is positive, close to zero. That means the function is approaching from this side. So, that is kind of approaching to zero as the value of x increases to infinity. If I write a very large negative value, right then what happens in that case you need to see plug in thousand negative value and see what you get since this number is square right then it will be positive itself so it will still approach and it will approach from the positive side let me factor this first so that I can make it very clear for you so I want to first factor this and write it in a separate way Okay, now let's consider this equation in the factored form. Let's factor the denominator. If we factor the denominator, what do we get? We get this function as 1 over, product of two numbers should be 3, and when you add them, you get minus 4. So the numbers are 3 and 1 will give you 3, but not minus 4. So Right, so the product of two numbers should be plus 3 and when you add them, you should get minus 4. So the two numbers could be minus 3 and minus 1. So when you multiply minus 3 minus 1, you get 3 and sum is minus 4. So we can write this as x minus 3 times x minus 1. Correct? So that is a factored form. It's a good way of writing so that we understand it better. Now, let's get back to horizontal asymptote. So, in the horizontal asymptote, if I substitute a large negative value for x, for example, minus 1000, right? If I write minus 1000 here, this quant factor becomes negative, minus 1000 minus something, and this factor is also negative, minus 1000 minus something. So, both are positive when you multiply them. So, still, the function is approaching 1 over a large value, and 1 over a large value is 0. And since it is positive, it is approaching from the positive side. Do you see that? Even otherwise, if I write minus 1000 here, 
then this number will be positive and this is much higher than the previous one which is 4 times x and overall this will be a positive number and so we see that it approaches from positive side in either case we find that our function is approaching zero value but it is not right there so therefore we say horizontal asymptote is y equals to zero so that is our horizontal asymptote to find vertical asymptote what we do is we equate denominator to zero one over zero is undefined right so vertical asymptote is when denominator is is equal to zero right so that is a possibility of vertical asymptote there are cases where we can have a hole also which we are not discussing at present so in this case the denominator is x minus 3 times x minus 1 and if we want that to be zero that is possible only at x equals to 3 and x equals to 1 so these are the two points where we have a vertical asymptote so we can write down vertical asymptotes is at x equals to 3 and at x equals to 1 right so let's draw the vertical asymptotes so let us say this is the vertical asymptote at 1 and this is the vertical asymptote at plus 3 correct so we have vertical asymptotes at at 1 and at 3 so that is how we get vertical asymptotes and to remember vertical asymptote is a is a value which will make denominator 0. So where we have this equation is a vertical line. Equation of vertical line is x equals to 3 and this vertical line is x equals to 1. Now we have found the answer that is writing equation for the asymptotes. We have one horizontal asymptote which is our x-axis y equals to 0 and we have two vertical asymptotes which are x equals to 1 and x equals to 3. Now as an added exercise, I would like you to analyze this, complete the graph, and write all the characteristics of the given transformed function. When I say characteristics, I mean domain, range, intervals of increase, decrease, And if possible, if possible, right? X intercepts and Y intercept. So complete the question by doing all this. And once you do this, it is better idea to sketch your graph. Sketch the graph, get all these things, then you will be all set to answer any question on such rational functions. Thank you and all the best.